Every letter is from someone threatening to expose classified information if we don't help them. You're the lawyer. Figure it out. This episode of THR News is brought to you by Season 2 of Hulu's Only Murders in the Building. Now for your awards consideration. The recruit sees Noah Centineo stars Owen Hendricks. A young CIA lawyer who finds himself in over his head his first week on the job. Centineo and his co-star Laura Haddock spoke to The Hollywood Reporter all about their new Netflix series created by Alexi Hawley of The Rookie. You became attached to the project and then helped bring it to Netflix. What was that process like and how did you know that you wanted to be a part of it? I just I found I found Owen really, really uh, compelling and I, I found the story to be interesting and I was passionate about getting it made. and. I contacted Alexi and said, I would love to do this with you. And I think I can get Netflix to give us a meeting. And so he was very, very down. And yeah, they they, they loved the project and they were really interested. And Alexi came and batted a thousand or knocked it out of the park. Rather, is probably the better way of saying that when it came to pitching it. You know, he had the Bible, he had the first script and he, he knew the story and the characters so well that they were they were really, really into it from the beginning. They said, write us a second episode and he did. And they were like, yeah, let's go. Let's pick up a writer's room. Let's make it happen. You know, you give away information without realizing it. I'm surprised you survived your trip. While Centineo didn't have to do much stunt training for the part, as his character is new to the CIA and doesn't know what he's doing, Haddock revealed she did extensive training before taking on the role of Max, a former CIA asset. I wanted her to know exactly how to handle herself in every situation. She would have been trained, you know, formally trained, working for the mafia, working for the CIA, you know, working in the positions that she's worked in. She would have been formally trained in lots of different um, forms of combat. So gun training, she would have been strong. I, I, I personally um, did boxing and physically put myself in a position where I just felt really lean and lithe and strong to step into Max's world. In the series, Owen discovers a threatening letter from Max, who plans to expose the CIA unless they exonerate her of a serious crime. The pair of actors shared how they would describe Owen and Max's working relationship. It's a conditional one. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's the, it's almost like there's the illusion of trust and the whole, the, it, the question is, is it actual? Is it real trust? But it feels very conditional. Yeah, they challenge each other. They are in a spot with each other that feels like really raw, but they need each other. So they have to keep going and they're yin and yang, <laughs> but they work. And it's like, you know, it's really exciting. It was exciting for me as Max to share a space with Noah as Owen, mm -hmm. because they are so unlikely as a pairing. Mm. Um, but that's kind of what makes it compelling, I think, I hope. The Recruit hits Netflix on December 16th. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.